Good morning, welcome back to the channel. This is a year old mate, Big J for Fight View 360 Australia. And today we're talking to one of our uh, most prominent uh, middleweights uh, in the country, uh, Isaac, the head splitter Hartman. Isaac, welcome back to the channel, mate. Great to have you back. Thanks for having me, mate. I appreciate it. Mate, so how's training going? Obviously, you've got a big fight uh, next Wednesday coming up on April the 20th against Michael uh, Pretty Boy Zarafa. Um, how's the preparation going, mate? And uh, how are we feeling about this uh, huge opportunity in front of you? Yeah, it's it's uh, training's gone well, mate. It's been a good good ten weeks. Uh, you know, all even different training partners. Um, you know, just wrapping up the last little bit now, tying up the loose ends. Being Wednesday, my fight week starts, so two more sessions, and then um, I get to bash Michael's raffle, which will be very enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, mate, because we've seen the history of you two. Obviously, you two blokes don't like each other, and you know, yeah, that's fine. You can fuck with, yeah. <laughs> Fair, yeah, well, he said some choice words about yourself, so that's all good. Good build-up for the fight. So I'm interested to see that uh, press conference. That'll be interesting. Is that next Monday? Yeah? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I, as far as I know, I didn't know if there was another one. We've already had one. Yeah, um, I saw that. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if there's another one. I'm not too not too sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's all that's good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. 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 What's your plan? Put my right hand bang on his chin. Like, people, this is the thing about Michael Zarafa. People have, like, had the wall pulled over their eyes. He doesn't have, the, the four time the four losses on his record are the four sole times he stepped up in competition and he got, they were all shutouts. All, every single one of them were shutouts. So you look into his record, the other fucking wins are against... Taxi drivers, the Indonesian guys, they're not quality. There's one quality guy on there, which is Wade Bryan, and that was a ten, like it was a close fight, you know? Everything else is fucking trash, uh, except for those four fights, which he lost. Kelbrook, Quinlan, which is second Jeff Horn one, and a Russian guy he got uh, beaten by. They were all shut out. So the, the, the Australian, that's the thing about the Australian boxing public. They don't understand. They see the 32 wins, uh, 32 fights on his record, and uh, that he beat Jeff Horn, and they align that with Jeff Horn beating Manny Pacquiao. So they think Michael's Raff is this fucking awesome boxer. He's not. I'm going to smash him to pieces, and I'm going to open up a lot of eyes. That Michael's Raff isn't the fucking boxer he portrays himself to be. Fair enough. Well, you'll have your opportunity to prove that on April 20. Now, if I'm correct, this is an IBF eliminator, which will be your rank number two in the IBF, the middleweight rankings. Is that correct? I think I saw that when you guys had no, your press no, number The winner will go to number two. I'm currently number eight with yep. the IBF, so the winner goes number two and fights for a vacant world title. Right, right. Oh, Triple Triple G hasn't given up his title yet. Triple G just won on the weekend. Did you see that fight? That was fantastic by Triple G. Yeah, he looked old. Um, you know, the first three rounds, but he, he got his eyes in. Um, but, no, he's going to go fight um, Canelo yeah. the third time, and he's going to, um, we've already heard, he gets that belt stripped off him, and I'll fight Salco, who's the number two guy. He's a Brazilian southpaw. I'll fight him for a vacant world title this year. Fair enough. So, the undercard, speaking of world titles, the undercard's got Shanika Johnson versus the Mexican fighter whose name escapes me. Um, your thoughts on that fight, or have you not put much thought into it? I hope Sugar gets up. Like I know Sugar's from that team. I got no beef with her. She's a lovely boxer. She's a lovely girl, to be honest. Um, and she's doing all the hard work. Um, and I'm rooting for Sugar Needs. You know, um, any time an Australian, I know she's a uh, New Zealander, but she's representing Australia. Any time we get a shot like that, I think we should back them. Absolutely. Um, and for the win because it makes our sport puts us up on a better better pedestal so um, I'm hoping Sugar brings a legit world title home to Australia yeah because we've already just had Ebony and her big win Jai Pattaya's got his fight against Mirus um, Britis coming up uh, yep. it's, it's all happening for Australian boxing so I just wanted to quickly touch on uh, Tim Zhu's performance against Terrell Goucher how do you think that one went yeah Wasn't awesome bad. I think that was the best thing best thing he could have happened you know Terrell had been in the rank for however many but he's a big puncher he's a uh, a representative of the Olympics for the American, which, you know, boxing over there is very, very populated. So for him to even be on the Olympic team says something. Um, Tim Zhu won that whole fight except for the one second that he um, latched a bit of concentration and got caught. And when he did get caught, it was a flash knockdown. He had his legs underneath him straight away. So people pick and prod about him getting dropped in the first round and this and that. But 
mate, he won that fucking fight start to finish, except for the one time he got dropped. And um, I think it would have done him a world of good uh, to go through that adversity, come back. And, well, then, you know, as soon as he got back up, he walked straight back into range and punched on. So normally when people get dropped, they get on their bike and try to survive the rest of the round. Tim obviously was clear-headed. Um, he's cut out to be a world champion. I think he'll go on to do that. Yeah, obviously he'll have to prove that in the ring. I mean, he did look good. Well, he's been proving it in the ring for the last 22 times, so... Mm. Yeah, yeah, he's really, he's really, get, he's really starting to get there, and I hope he gets. I think Tony Harrison might be his next fight. Um, Tony Harrison had the win on the weekend. Sebastian Fendora finally got enough. I, that was a huge shock. I thought Erickson Lubin would have won that, but yeah. So, good, only good things are going to happen for Tim. Um, but we'll have to see what happens on May fourteenth. So, uh, just going back to it, if you win, you're going to be taking on who? Sorry, the Brazilian fighter. I'm not. I'm not. Sure. Falco. That's his name. He's uh, number two at the IBF. He's a Brazilian bloke. His last fight was end of last year. It was a no. No contest because there was a head clash and it hadn't gone past the fourth round. So he's a southpaw and I'll smash him to pieces just as bad as I'm going to smash Michael Zaffer to pieces. Okay, yeah, well, I really like your confidence there, mate, because you've got to be confident. I mean, obviously, you know, you've got to be confident in this sport. Uh, so yeah, if, absolutely. Yeah, ab- ab- absolutely you do because, you know, I mean, um, you know, uh, what, is this your 13th fight? Is that correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, 13th thir- 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 fight, you go against a rapper who has more, than, t- yeah, more than twice the experience of you, but yep. don't, let, don't let that hold you against you. Nah, I won't. I don't give a fuck if he's had 100 fights, so he, he goes to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, certainly lo- I'm, certainly looking for, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Um, with, with the stadium, have you heard that, uh, how is all the uh, sales and all that going for the fight? I heard, I heard this is going to be pretty. There's a lot of uh, push behind this fight. This is probably one of the biggest domestic fights we've had since probably Jeff Horn uh, Zarafa number two for status. Cause this yeah, for sure. It's just a shame that um, Zarafa is a complete coward and he didn't turn up to fight Tim Zoo and he's been given the ban from Fox Sports. You know, he deserves to be on a good platform in Fox Sports. That's why I'm a Fox Sports fighter. Mm. That's why I've got so much traction because I've been on that great platform. And because Tim, um, Michael Zarafa is a dog. He didn't turn up. They've banned him. So um, I, my silver lining for this is just the world title that comes after it. But, you know, it's on Fight TV app, um, which have slapped a $43 price price tag on it, which is ridiculous. But um, each to their own. I don't really give a fuck about who's watching it. I just know I'm going to smash him to pieces. And then I go on to get wedded, uh, have a honeymoon, and then fight for a world title in my 14th professional fight. And I'll pay my house off, pay my coach's house off, and that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, congratulations on uh, your wedding. I know it's coming up soon, mate. All the best with that. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, well, I've been tracking that for a while. I mean, you mentioned it in every post-fight and all that. I'm really happy that you uh, got yourself settled down, mate. Good for you. So, you know, good luck to the both of you. So, yeah, thank you. We yeah, appreciate that. So, after um, this, um, are you going to have a chance to go to uh, watch George uh, give Haney a boxing lesson? Well, I, um, oh, I'd like to get there. You know, that's a massive fight during 5th. Um, you know, I still work here at Nitro, you know, doing PG. So, if I can get away from work, I'll definitely head down to Melbourne and, um, you know, watch the fight, watch the Emperor retain his belts. Mm. Your, your thoughts on that fight? Because I, I, I've said on record, I think Haney's, um, George is going to get him ninth round TKO. What's your thoughts on uh, that fight? I think Haney is a dud. He's a hype train. Um, he hasn't looked very good in his last performances at all. I think George, boy, too, George's got to treat him like that. Um, I think the hardest fight for uh, George is Lomachenko, which he was well and truly ready to take that fight so he ain't hiding or running from no one he wants them all and I think he's going to go out and do that and reign as a world champion for a very long time. Yeah I agree I mean the Aussies are coming I mean we've got George we've got Ebony uh, if Jai gets up if um, Shanika gets up then yourself will have like six world champions and I don't think that's ever happened at one time in Australian boxing not even no, that's the, right. not even the heyday of the 80s so this is this is this is going to be a revolution that has been seen since the heyday of the 80s. That's it, mate. We're all coming. The new breed's here. Yeah, I, I actually, I can't wait for it, mate. So I really appreciate your time, mate. Good luck in the fight. We will be watching it. You know, we'll, keep, we'll keep an eye on you, mate. We really appreciate your time. We'll want to follow your career. And uh, Isaac, the head splitter, Hartman, thank you very much for being on uh, 5 View 360, mate. Really appreciate your time.